Hey, hey, welcome back to Undefended Redux. We're finally back. If you haven't seen the update video, go watch it. But uh, yeah, this is episode 13. Um, I think episode 13, it might be 14. Uh, I, I kind of lost track. It's been a while as well. But uh, yeah, uh, this episode is going to be a bit special um, for me more than for you guys because I'm going to be recording this over several days and not just one. Normally what I'll do is I'll go down, I'll go sit down and do like a map, um, say for example, uh, Winter Wonderland 2 or the survival for a certain map. And I'll do it while in one session because it takes a while. I'll just sit down and do that. Um, but this time I'm probably going to be doing it in a different way where I sit down right now and do one map, maybe two maps. And then I, uh, I wait a little bit and record in a following day. Um, for you guys, it'll be the same. Anyways, uh, here's a plan for this episode. Um, we're going to go over and do portal defense on Ascension Ruthless because we'll, from that we're going to get ourselves a uh, Unicorn Glaive. Um, if you want to know a little bit more details about the like what you can get from a reward or um, I don't know like what, how low can you go stat stuff like that um, more information um, I actually made some other videos on that you guys can go watch those uh, if you haven't already but um, if you're just sticking along with the quest for completion series you already have a snowman pet you already have whatever I have uh, more or less maybe not the uh, fantasy squire but regardless um, you'll be fine uh, okay so uh, one thing I should mention I moved the Dancing Squire pet over to our trap character because our apprentice does not need it. Uh, we're not using our apprentice at all during this build. It's just going to be our, our EV, our monk, our, not our monk, our aura monk, and our uh, trap character. And then lastly, we're going to have this guy right here leveling up towers for the first wave, and then every following wave, he's going to be running around with a snowman pet, just uh, annihilating anything and everything that lives. But yeah, let's get into it. Uh, wrong character. Um, now, I've done this intro a few times, so I'm a little, a little tired, but uh, if you, when you're starting out, um, you want to go on your EV because um, this map is very mean. Uh, the thing is, when you're placing a lot of the, the things that I'm, place, that I'm placing down, um, these trees will get in, your a when you're play, get in your way when you're placing them, but uh, it can help in a few areas. So like right here, um, try to make sure you're not getting blocked by a tree, place down a uh, wall right there, and then right here, this will be a bit annoying as well, place down a wall like that, and then place down a wall like this. There you go. That's the first spider spawn point. Uh, same thing here, but like, you know, no big tree annoying you. Uh, as these walls, they are important, uh, how you place them. Um, this buff, you can just do whatever with, don't, don't worry about the buffing so much. Uh, but the walls are very important. Uh, try to place the walls as I'm placing them, or, or, or better. Um, don't be too worried about how much DU they take up. It is much more important that you get the walls down um, in the proper ways than it is that the walls are like, you know, perfectly set and all that. Uh, anyways, yeah, um, this build for once is entirely mine. This is not a build that I took off of somebody or, or changed from somebody else's build. Um, I This is all homegrown, pure me build, uh, which is why it's so stupid. Um, yeah, this is uh, it's interesting. So this build... Um, I had to do a lot of theory testing to finally be able to make, but uh, after all that, um, here it is. This is the completed product. Uh, it's a build where you block off every spawn point for the spiders, um, all the choke points basically, or you make choke points. Um, that way you don't actually have to deal with the main mechanic of the map of the uh, portal teleporting. Um, and then after that, all you do is run around on your, um, your monk and kill all the spiders because uh, they don't really do anything to you and they have a lot of health but because they're slowed and they're uh, they're weakened they can't get the walls down in time and um, you can kind of deal with them very easily sorry if I haven't described anything like super well uh, there's the actual video where I where I uh, do describe how to do this but uh, anyways yeah first place down those walls uh, around how I have um, and then go and place down your auras Auras matter, matter, matter a little bit less. They're definitely not as important, like exactly how you place them, because friggin' gigantic. Uh, but it is definitely important that you have them there. Uh, just doing slow and weak in auras um, at the same ish spots that I am. Maybe you have higher stats, maybe you have lower stats, doesn't matter. Um, as long as the auras are covering these uh, spawn, cho spawn chokes? Uh, spawn points. Spawn points or choke points? Choke points, there we go, sorry. My brain is a little uh, fried. It is very hot in my room and I had to turn off my AC to uh, be able to record and actually tell you guys things properly. Uh, next, if you have time left over like I do, 
go ahead on your uh, trap character and just place down some oil traps um, around the same areas that I am. Um, basically these will just make it so that some of your walls don't have to take as much damage and you can kind of let them go for a while. Uh, the main issue here isn't actually the walls. It's definitely a lot more the issue of um, your auras uh, and their HP, but anyways. So yeah, let the spiders spawn. And for a little bit, just let them spawn. Um, don't shoot them because you might knock them out of this little box, that you, this little cage that we made for them. Uh, and believe me, that is not something you want. But yeah, as you can see, all the spiders are just like running up to walls and being stupid. But now that most, uh, most or all of them have spawned, we're gonna start upgrading things. Uh, now these buff beams, I'll be honest, I don't know if you need them, but I think that they make your auras last a bit longer, strangely enough, so you do want to put them down. But yeah, just uh, on your monk, go around um, hitting everything, upgrading everything as much as you can. Definitely the auras are number one priority. Uh, your, wall, your walls, even if you have something like 1500 HP, your walls will last long enough that they won't even go down like at all. Um, your walls will stay up the entire time. But your auras, uh, they'll they'll be taking a bit more of a beating. Or maybe not that, it's just that the auras have less HP. They're, they're a lot more important to like micromanage. But yeah, just, just go around upgrading these things. As you can see, these walls aren't getting touched because the oil trap is uh, knocking back all of the spiders, so they can't touch the wall at all. Um, I want to get everything here up to three stars. Um, you shouldn't do that, you should probably just get them up to a regular star and then leave, but uh, for now, I'm getting them up to three stars. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, um, this is working like perfectly fine. No matter where the portal teleports, the spiders can't do much about it. Alright, some of these other areas are getting pretty low on HP, so I'm actually gonna head over there and upgrade their auras. Oh, it's not even that low. It's interesting. I thought they'd be much lower than that. Well, regardless, um, just keep upgrading these auras. Um, it's kind of a one and done thing. You just upgrade the auras, and then once they're upgraded, you'll just be running around uh, to kill spiders anyways, and Whilst doing that, you can be repairing the auras at the same time. If you want to, you can put up a quick defense boost to uh, repair these walls, like naturally, and with the auras, but uh, definitely not necessary. The thing is about this first wave, because you're not really doing too, too much damage and the, they have so much HP, these spiders, um, it's a lot more of the spiders will just die over time, and uh, more. it's a lot less of like killing the spiders and a lot more of just making sure that you get as much out of them as you can. Getting web does not help, <laughs> I will say that much. But yeah, very much just get this stuff um, upgraded as much as you can. Uh, the HP of the walls, like I said, does not matter that much. Um, even on level one, these things will last like forever. Uh, you don't really need to have that much for, for stats to complete this, but your auras always take so much more of a beating. Sorry if I've, uh, if I've said that a lot, but it is very important that you keep these alive. Anyways. Um, as you can see, like even here, um, the spiders can't get past these walls, uh, and as a result, they're just stuck here, um, being very angry at them. But I can just like leave this area, even though there's so many spiders here, um, and they're all just going to be stuck at that choke point, and I can go like back here, for example, and upgrade these walls. Uh, these actually, these walls, funnily enough, are the the only ones that I've ever seen getting low, uh, somewhat low, and that's just because um, I think the spiders are like hitting several of them at a time. So it's a little uh, bit of a unique situation. Uh, regardless, I think there's one last area that I missed, sorry. Um, yeah, again, this this whole first wave, spiders are either going to die naturally through time, or you're going to accidentally kill them. <laughs> they, they are not a threat. Um, they are not a threat to your walls, they're not going to get through anything as long as you place everything properly. Which is why I put so much importance on making sure that you do that. There's one, one little gap in the walls, and the spiders get through, and you are screwed. It is weird though, I feel as though getting mana from the spiders is a little bit more difficult. Uh, I'm not sure why. A little bit more difficult. Uh, also, for the areas that have these oil traps, uh, you don't actually have to care about their walls because the spiders will never get you them. But as you can see, a whole bunch of the spiders just started dying, and that is entirely due to the fact that their uh, their individual like lifetime limits are over. I think every mob in the game, at least most every mob in the game, has a... Um, a little counter that starts ticking the moment it spawns. And once that counter reaches a certain number, um, I don't know like how many minutes it is, but for a certain time they'll just die automatically. Just to prevent situations where you're playing hardcore and like, you know, you die, but there's only like a spider left and the spider can't kill anything that's important. Like it can't kill your crystal. So instead of like making you wait there forever or having to restart, uh, it just dies automatically after a good long while. 
Anyways, last thing um, is this one last oil trap. Uh, do not place one here. This is a bad location for an oil trap, believe me. Um, I think the, if I remember correctly, what will happen is the spiders will get knocked out of here by the oil trap when they're spawning. And um, that's when you have a bit of a containment breach. Now, if you want to, you can continue doing what we were doing just now and letting the spiders spawn and getting all the mana and all that. But what I'm going to be doing, um, and what you guys should be doing as well, is going on to your monk, equipping a snowman pet or whatever like big DPS range pet you have, and running around with it. Um, don't stand here when they're spawning. Do not. You're, you're, unless you have crazy DPS, don't. Because these spiders will get knocked out of that box extremely easily. I just realized I should probably upgrade that oil trap up there. Yeah, it, it's very interesting because you could probably do this without a lot of these walls since... Um, the, the spiders really cannot make any progress when the oil traps are there, but uh, that might also be because the spiders are trying to focus down the, um, the walls and they're like stopping to web and all that. But anyways, as you can see, um, once you have like your, your boost going on here, you can just annihilate all of these spiders. I would recommend hero boost and getting rid of two or three groups, uh, maybe more like uh, I am right now if you have a much better pet. Um, but if you have a worse pet, just annihilate like two or three groups at a time, stop your hero boost, and then um, repair anything that you need to. In this case, I'm going to upgrade this oil trap because I do not want it to get low. Yeah, but it, it is really weird. Um, all the builds that I saw for this map were so, so convoluted. Or maybe not convoluted, more they were like, it, it seemed like a lot of building. Um, like a, a lot of stat requirements for something that doesn't feel like it needs that much stats. Like you're just dealing with spiders. Uh, what I would see is like a few, like, you know, same thing I'm doing here with a slow and a, um, the other aura, uh, slow and weakness aura, but then they would have like a, a double stack of, um, lightning towers and deadly striker towers. And then they have a, a double buff from a, from a monk and a, um, initiate a, like this whole big thing. And I'm just like, man, first of all, I don't have an initiate, uh, which I actually, I think I promised to, uh, to go make one last episode, but I, I haven't sadly, sadly. Sorrily, sadly. Um, and second of all, as that's like I from what I've seen that those builds one very high stat like what stat, higher stat than even what I have, um, and two uh, from the people that I that I've heard using I've heard about using them. What, what am I saying? From the people that I've um, talked to who have used those builds, they're not really uh, hundred percent consistent, which is where this one shines because it is. But yeah, now that uh, most every spider is spawned, you can just kind of go around and let your pet go crazy. Um, you could put down an uh, aura of fire. Put down, use an aura of fire here because they're all on, they're all oil trapped and all that. But uh, eh, eh, that's how I would describe my opinion on it. Uh, I feel like it's kind of a waste of mana. Now that we're on the final wave, uh, let's bring in some characters. Um, I'm going to bring in the three characters that we've built with so that their towers get an extra boost. Um, I, I know that like DPS dealing towers will get an extra boost. I don't know if these like passive towers where they're just blocking and like, you know, doing oil trap stuff. Um, knocking back enemies, I guess. I don't know if they'll get any boost. Um, but on the off chance that they do, I'll bring them here. And it, this is also because, um, I think mainly for me, is the fact that uh, none of these characters, I know for a fact, none of these characters have a DPS pet on them, which would be annoying because if they have a DPS pet on them, um, and say they were, you know, they spawn right here, 
uh, a spider would fall from up there, and they would just get knocked away and uh, potentially cause a problem. Uh, funnily enough, even even if that happens, uh, the spiders move so slowly that unless the the portal is right there, you don't care. <laughs> you can ignore it completely. Um, what else is there? Oh yeah, so I think this map is actually a little unique um, compared to a lot of other maps um, that are in like Redux because uh, I'm pretty sure this is one of the maps where even if you complete it on Ascension, um, it doesn't count it as uh, an achievement on Steam or uh, in general for completing it on um, Nightmare Hardcore, which is like the ba regular base game achievement. Um, so you might actually have to do it several times if you're doing it on Ascension. Uh, but that's no issue. I mean, it's just a little bit of extra time spent. Uh, I missed a, missed a little loop here. Um, I'm going to try to go around to here and then go to that middle area. That middle area, um, it, there are almost, there are always so, so, so many spiders back there. Uh, we got a uh, we got web there. Uh, web, getting web doesn't matter that much. Um, primarily because even if you do get webbed, uh... They, the spiders don't deal enough damage for you to care about. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go around with a bit of power boosting so that we can repair these things. These things, these um, auras. Without having to just stand still the entire time. But uh, yeah, I mean, this is the map. Um, hopefully, just like in the uh, in, my, in my first offline uh, attempt at this, we get a very, very cool uh, divine um, unicorn wave. That would be nice. 500 upgrades and I'll never have to Go back here again, uh, but I doubt it. I'm, I'm I'm at least hoping for some like ultimate plus plus one. But yeah, that's the map. Oh look, look at that. We got we did get the steam achievements. Oh, it might be that it doesn't count for uh, ultimate defender. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But either way, that's the map completed. And uh, as you can see, generally pretty good uh, stuff. This is this is before. Um, very bad. It's okay. Uh, that's saddening. That's also saddening. So we might have to go at this and farm it again. But, uh, yeah. That's it for now. I might, um, I mean, you guys will know depending on how the, how the video is. But I might quickly go through this um, a few more times and get a few more glaives. Uh, again, I really do want to get at least like an ultimate plus plus one. But, uh, yeah, like, as long as it has, like, about 400 upgrades or so, and it's ultimate, and it doesn't have negative hero damage, um, I'll be more or less pleased. So, uh, yeah, either, either there's, a, there's a stop right here, and I'm, uh, that means that I'm happy with what I got, or you guys are about to see some sped-up footage of me farming this map like crazy. Either way, I will see you guys in a little bit.
completion. Uh, no ultimate plus plus one, that sucks. They are all ultimate, which is the main goal. So I'm just looking at these to make sure they're not... Okay, that one sucks. That one more or less sucks. Wow, okay. Uh, Alright. We give this another go then, because literally none of these are worth keeping in any way. Come on, Divine. Divine. I had a Supreme Red Bible, so it's okay. Useful. Wait, oh, that's building one. That's all right. Five, red seven. Uh, I'll look at this one, but I think most everything here is actually just not worth the time. Which is sad. Such as farming at lower levels. Or such as farming in general.
Okay, hey, the post commentary here. Now, if you see me right here, I got wet and I'm about to die. Um, that's because I overset it a little bit. But if you do die on um, the final wave where you have your other characters open, uh, don't worry. Just go on to one of your other characters and start uh, getting a bunch of mana because you're just going to be um, running around repairing all the auras. Uh, that's the reason why this build is doable with like around 500 stats. It's because while dealing with the spiders is helpful and it speeds things up, it is by no means necessary. You could literally just wait till the spiders die due to their own internal clocks running out. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to include that. Also, how do you guys like the music? It's a little difficult to, uh, to get music because I don't want to reuse the same track more than um, more than once. So like you've heard Misty Meyer twice already. Um, and uh, I don't know, I, I, it's kind of difficult to find music that fits um, because surprisingly enough, DD does not have a large uh, amount of music. It's just most of the time um, the same track gets reused a lot on certain maps. Uh, I was also thinking about using the attack theme for, uh, for Misty Meyer, um, but it if I remember correctly, it just doesn't sound good. Like, it doesn't fit with the first building half. Unlike the Aquanos one. What you're hearing right now is the Aquanos um, attack theme. Um, and that fits perfectly well with the with the Aquanos uh, build theme. Oh yeah, if you want, you can build, like, some towers to help out your DPS. But, uh, again, at the end of the day, you're just waiting for things to uh, to kill themselves. Kill themselves? Oh, that's badly worded. To, uh, to run out their internal clocks. Anyways, I'll see you guys at the end of the video. over because I uh, had a fan on full blast in the background while uh, recording this. So yeah, we got a Divine Crystal. Um, we got a Mythical Glaive, which was kind of annoying, but we did get a few nice things. First one is that hammer that I was hovering over just now. Uh, it's got a good enough amount of upgrades, and it's got really nice uh, hero damage and ability too, so it'll be good for a Hawk Stance Barbarian. And this thing right here, that glaive is, um, that's the one that, that was the keeper. Uh, it was good enough, uh, but then I mean, it was close enough to the amount of damage that I wanted that we uh, just decided to keep it. And it nearly has 400 uh, upgrades anyways, so it was bound to be pretty damn good. And it had hero damage, uh, hero ability to hero HP, kind of everything you want. Um, a little bit lacking in the amount of uh, like certain stats, but it's, uh, it, it'll do. Um, having recorded all of this, I still haven't really used it um, all that much. Uh, after filming this, I did go into local and test out a whole bunch of things. Um, but I think until we get an ice cube or um, a Christmas elephant that's really good, uh, we probably won't do anything with that glaive for a fair little bit. Maybe we will, um, but uh, yeah. All right, it is 90 degrees. I'm gonna get this done quickly. Um, this is a little tidbit interlude section. Uh, basically, since last recording in this one, I went offline and messed around in a few areas, like Temple of Love, Lab Assault, trying to see what I could do. I got a build for Temple of Love that works until the final wave and then fails. Um, I have a way to do Lab Assault that uh, works for maybe 11, 10 minutes, but it's a bit stressful and it's annoying and it's not consistent. And I wanna aim for around seven minutes-ish per per, uh, per rep rep per lab assault run. Uh, so that's not gonna happen, um, at least at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we need to get some upgrades. Um, and uh, what I'm gonna do, I think, for the for the rest of this episode is go into Town of the Cliffs and do a build on this for uh, survival. Um, I wanna get ourselves, I wanna get ourselves, I wanna get a um, new genie, 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 genie scimitar, uh, because while the current one is great, it is a genie scimitar. It is useful, and it has been useful. Um, it's not perfect. Um, it's missing a uh, hero damage stat, and uh, mainly this one isn't something that we acquired on Ruthless, so it's actually missing out on a fair bit of uh, base damage, which uh, that kind of sucks. Uh, but that does mean that I get to um, try a few builds for uh, Town of the Cliffs and show them to you guys, because the uh, thing is, Town of the Cliffs is a very good map for uh, armor farming. So you can do both armor farming and um, weapon farming, so you can get yourself that uh, 
the the scimitar. There's also a um, melee weapon. I forget what it's called. Something Sparta. Uh, that is also I think pretty good. Uh, I think it's pretty good. So we can also get that. Although that's kind of the less wanted reward. Um, so yeah, uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do for the rest of this episode. For the next episode, um, my plan is to have it be kind of a uh, more chill interlude um, type interlude. Oh, I'm saying that way too much. A more more chill episode where it's just gonna be leveling up a few heroes. Um, I have in mind is our initiate because uh, we desperately need that initiate to be leveled. Uh, a barbarian, and lastly, I don't know either our EV or our uh, monk. Um, we definitely want to have several monks because we're gonna have one main Giga Boy sad sad uh, mad lad DPS man, which is currently this one even though he's a super hybrid of everything right. He's got he upgrades towers, he, he hero boosts, he tower boosts, he deals DPS, right? Survivability, you know, he's all he's all in one. Um, but uh, that's not very sustainable because uh, we're gonna need a lot more things moving on to the end game of him. Moving on to the end game of uh, every of everything. Sorry, uh, I've I've tried to do this like a few times and uh, had to turn off my AC as a result. And now my room is ninety degrees and I am really really sweaty. I hate it. Uh, okay, yeah. So that's the plan. Um, I'm going to try to show uh, builds for Town of the Cliffs um, once I find one. Uh, this build will probably not be one that you use for farming armor, but it will be one that you use for farming weapons. Um, and I think we also do get like armor rewards and other things uh, from finishing this map, um, even, if it even if it is on survival. So that should also be nice. Uh, also, in case um, some of you guys don't know, uh, I don't believe that uh, maps have any bosses when you do them on survival. Um, so you can, you know, we can go to Town of Clips and not have to worry about any kind of a boss. But, uh, yeah. Um, I also might include, maybe, no promises here, a um, bit of Winter Wonderland 2, either somewhat soon now-ish, or um, more likely in the next episode, uh, Winter Wonderland 2 Survival. Uh, because I want to get ourselves a nice Ice Cube pet, or a, um, a better elephant, an ultimate one. In case you guys don't know, um, when pets are not ultimate, um, say for example the snowman he's um, he's like what not get he's getting about what 60 something uh, 64 damage per upgrade um, whereas this ultimate snowman is getting a lot more than that um, I think it's 112 damage per upgrade yeah it is uh, so it's a very significant very very significant um, increase in the damage per upgrade uh, so if we get like an ultimate um, Christmas elephant, it'll be a lot, lot better than either of these, and uh, it'll be pretty useful for something like lava salt, and I think in general. Um, and if we get an ice cube, uh, that's really good, which is actually pretty unlikely because ice cubes roll uh, pretty badly in general from what I've seen. Um, but on the off chance that we do get that, um, that'll also be very, very useful. But uh, but yeah, um, that's the plans for, the, for this episode. Uh, I'm gonna quickly go uh, back to local and start testing out those builds. And I will see you guys once I have um, a build to show, I guess. Uh, uh, one that is consistent and goes all the way up to the final wave. Hopefully, um, unlike the uh, Wintermire build, is not one that all of a sudden stops working <laughs> once, I, uh, <laughs> once I go into uh, a ranked and have to actually keep what I, what I play and record. Record what I play. Ah, anyways, uh, we'll see you guys then. Okay, uh, hello, hello. I am, um, I am recording. It is Sunday, the last day of the two-week period that I said the episode would be released in. I apologize, but uh, it's been extremely hot, and um, unless I want to have really, really bad background audio, I can't really record with my AC on, so eh, it's kind of rough. But anyways, uh, yeah, alternatively, if I do try to record at night, um, it is when people are asleep, and my voice would probably wake them up. I don't really want to do silent episodes, so here we are. Um, anyways. Basically, here's the situation. Lost Quests, Town of the Cliffs, um, Ascension Survival, Ruthless. Um, yeah. I have a build that can go up until the final wave and do the whole thing. 
Uh, is it super farmable? No. Um, this build is actually meant to be farmed uh, in survival. Uh, funnily enough, or not survival, and uh, with with four summoners for uh, armors, not really for uh, for the weapon, which we're which is what we're doing. Uh, what else? Uh, there was this, and there's also in Arcane Library. I have I have a build for this um, that I uh, got from Mushroom Man that can do it on Ascension Ruthless. Um, it should be pretty easy, um, but it is a little jank because you know all of my builds have to be. Uh, it's a build from Mushroom Man, but then. Um, it's only meant for Nightmare Hardcore of the base game, not on Redux, so on Ascension, Ruthless, I had to add like a Gas Trap and um, Spider Minions, some Ogre Minions, like a whole a big thing that I had to do myself. Anyways, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, move into this map. I want to start on the first wave. Uh, this is going to be a very, very long session for me, um, so most likely uh, I'm going to do the build now. And then once the build is um, done, I'm just gonna go like, you know, a little incognito and uh, turn my AC back on. Probably have a bunch of music on for you guys with the sped up. And uh, um, after that, I'll like turn the AC off and be able to speak properly. Uh, anyways, it's just a build, like the first build I found on YouTube when searching for a survival build. Um, it was, I searched for armor farm uh, specifically because um, getting a regular survival build uh, would be probably not good. Um, primary issue with most regular survival builds that are up for this map. Did I build this properly? I'm going to say I did. Um, the primary issue with most regular survival builds that are up for this map is if it's meant to farm the weapons, um, it is really, really meant to farm the weapons. Uh, there is no real room for anything fun, kind of. I don't know how to describe it, but uh, if you're supposed to be farming the weapons and that's what, like, you know, you're coming in here for, um, people will assume that you have double initiate boost, like 8k stats, so you can do this in, like, sub-10 minutes and all that junk, but I have none of those, so I can't do that. Uh... I, and if you're following along the series, you guys probably don't have those either. So ideally, um, you guys have way higher stats than I do. But yeah, uh, since it's survival, it's a lot, a lot more chill. Um, this wall, actually, you want to make two DU. Uh, the thing is, this wall is kind of meh. Um, if I remember correctly, the main thing that you need to watch out for is every once in a while you'll have a mage minion that just kind of a few mage minions potentially they just kind of go back here and they just start shooting the the the, the what am I trying to say they, they just start shooting the uh, wall over here and um if you don't have the reflection wall placed properly they'll get it down because on like later later waves they deal like 16,000 up to double that um a hit which uh according to my math is extremely high and we can't really tank that um it's supposed to be say it's supposed to be there uh, and then this is the main chunk area of the build um, most of it is just centralized right here oh wait hold on there's also a buff theme right here that I missed uh, yeah so this is more or less uh, most of the build uh, excluding the, the what's call towers so I think I'm gonna get those down now now these uh, the oil trap and everything else that I'm putting down here um, definitely out of everything the most funky part of it uh, and the gas trap I don't know it's really weird I it's been a while since I actually built this it's been a few days um, if you if you guys have checked out the quest for completion extras channel channel um, playlist um, I did put that there it's supposed to be an oil trap down here yeah um, and I think I think that's it for for this I don't remember there being any more and um, we'll find out right now actually but uh, the original build that I saw for this, maybe I didn't follow it properly, but it did have a few issues. Wow, that is a lot of XP. That does not seem legit. Um, namely, oh, hold on, I gotta turn off, turn off, turn on the auto hotkey script so I can actually stack. Namely, um, I believe they have the fireball towers like this, right? One facing this way, one facing this way so we can get wyverns and enemies on the, that side. And then the rest facing this way. Two more facing this way, I mean. Um, but I need to have one facing that way to 
because uh, what I had happened a lot was a wyvern or two would come in at the later, later waves when they had like 50 million HP, and they would annihilate me. Uh, and to avoid said annihilation, um, that, that, I'm just putting those down there. Uh, funnily enough, on this map, I want to build these. I'll build it. Uh, funnily enough, um, there is something pretty interesting about this map. By the way, if you're actually like building this um, on your own, don't bother with the stack of lightning towers I did there. Uh, that is definitely not the way you're supposed to do it. I don't even remember the way you're supposed to do it. I might have to pull up my own video. Um, if you're doing this, um, just wait until the next wave when I have all the mana I need to kind of build everything. But for now, um, I'm just going to make sure that everything is upgraded properly. As you can see, those fireball towers really pack a punch. Those things are uh, crazy. Uh, by the way, this is going to be one of those builds where you're going to max everything out. Uh, I think this is... No, no, no. Yeah, okay, okay, sorry. I'm just trying to remember. Um, but this build is actually meant to be done with just summoners. Um, which is, I think, probably the only reason why it's even somewhat possible um, with how I'm doing it. Uh, you know, power boost and lower stats and all. There we go. Um, funnily enough, just the first few waves on Ruthless aren't actually that difficult. I was going to say, um, on this map, uh, there is something pretty unique. And that is, you don't actually get the, um, you don't actually get uh, the genie pet, Jin, genie, um, until wave 30. So it's really late to get that pet, which sucks, because you, you know, you'd think it'd be early on, but it's not. I don't exactly remember what is supposed to be built here in what fashion. But I'm just gonna guesstimate, and hopefully it's correct. I know there's one of these, I know there's one of these. I think it's like two of these, and then one more, one more, one more. I'm gonna have these uh, angled a little more left because a lot of the time what I notice is they would just shoot down this lane uh, when on the later waves, and that's not what we want them to do. So anyways, uh, but yeah. So that's the uh, DU part of it, and this is actually where the regular build ends for the for the people that um, for the people, or I guess for the person that originally built this. But this is where um, four stats of mine come in. Uh, place a spider minion right here. I think this wall is probably placed correctly. I don't know. Um, click the q for c extras channel. Uh, there is a video there for this build where I build it a lot better. And there's a in the in that description. There's the actual like video that I um, used for this build. So definitely go there if you want a more accurate build. Anyways, um, wrong button. I keep seeing the six hundred mana cost and thinking it's six is the button. All right, there we go. Uh, that Spider Man webs any um, shins that get nearby, and I don't. I think it's just useful in general. To be honest, uh, I don't remember it being super important, but uh, the next spider we're going to place is super important, for sure. Ooh, uh, so this next spider uh, is going to be placed right here at this well. Um, this is going to basically double our DPS to anything that comes up here because it'll get webbed immediately. And then one mage minion here, this is both to heal us and to heal the towers over here. Uh, and lastly, we have one DU left over. Um, do as you will with this last DU. Uh, me personally, I'll probably just like plop it down right here or something. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter what you do with that last bit of, not DU, MU. Um, but yeah, after this, all you're doing is just running around and upgrading everything. Uh, me personally, I'm going to upgrade this area right here first, um, and then move on to that area. Uh, this area, I mean, because it's more um, compact over here. More compact, it is more to deal with over here. Uh, or, or wait, wait, there's less to deal with over here and there's more over there, so we'll get done with this faster. Sorry. Anyways, um, this is where the speed up begins. I might, I might do post commentary on this. It's very, very poorly worded, very clearly evident by the fact that I've taken so long. But uh, yeah, this is where the speed up begins. This is where the upgrading begins from now on. Um, upgrade this area to max, and then um, once you've upgraded this area, just go back over there and sit on those towers or around that area, holding right click and getting a whole bunch of mana. 
But uh, yeah, that's that's gonna be it for now. Enjoy the enjoy the Morago music.
Willie May, you guys didn't hear, but recording me will hear. The cue for me to return. So, um, as you might be able to tell, <clears throat> some things have gone a little wrong. But, uh, so continuing, uh, I think I'm going to record the final wave in its entirety with me here. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Um, what was it? Yeah, so uh, we had a DU wall go down. DU wall? We had a wall go down just now. We had a, um, what else was it? A wall go down and a spider communion go down. Uh, both of which really suck, but neither of which are really like, you know, world is over type scenarios. Um, what it does mean though, is I need to go build stuff again. Looks like we got an ultimate plus plus from that thing. Maybe it was this? I don't know. Uh, we've gotten a few ultimate plus pluses. We've gotten a few other items. Um, but I haven't really paid too much attention to them. Uh, namely because, um, because we're not on only summoners, uh, any like items we get are extraordinarily more likely to be, uh, weapons. I think weapons have a much higher like chance of rolling as a, a high tier thing. Bolt came through here, and even though they're in the weakness or and everything, they are still strong as shite. Uh, it just barreled through here and messed that up. This is our other ultimate. That sucks. Um, yeah, so that sucks. But uh, what can you do? And I think a spider queen minion. Um, I don't really know. If I had to bet, the same thing happened. But I think our spider queen minion is a little weaker. Um, first of all, uh, angling your fireball towers here, extremely important, um, if you have lower stats like I do. Uh, angle your fireball towers so that, uh, none of them are facing to this right side. That way, all of their fireball can, like, um, go right down this middle lane here and kill all the enemies that are clustered up. Uh, secondarily, the, if you are way better than I am with these reflect walls and your, your physical beams... Uh, you should be fine. If you have more stats than me as well, um, you can actually just like, like this, this will be long enough that it can cover this bridge. If it can cover this bridge completely, um, or I guess you can just move the, <laughs> move the, um, auras. You won't have to worry about any mages because their damage is going to be weak enough that it doesn't matter. Um, and kobolds should be getting dealt with, uh, before they become too much of an issue, um, by the way. But yeah, uh, also, um, you might... Like, I didn't do this at all because I'm really, really lazy. I should really stop um, being as lazy as I am. But uh, you should definitely go to these chests every, like, wave um, on a summoner and quickly open them up. Uh, because this map can give you any kind of gear. It can give you up to, like, divines, voids, whatevers. Um, you should just get lucky. So um, I think it's definitely worth it every round to do that. Um, I didn't do that because I was... Um, what I did is I had a script going on my... Uh, on my keyboard, uh, and it just holds right click for me, or it doesn't hold, it spams right click, it's holding doesn't work. Um, and it just spams right click for me, and as a result of that, I don't have to be here the whole time. So I, you know, start of every wave, I just start this keybind, and then um, leave with, uh, with tower boost on, and then I leave, and then when, by the time that I'm back, everything's all good. Got a new genie pet. Um, we got all of these, and to be honest, like this is a, this is, un, this is an okay genie, for like doing the assault maps or something. Um, but it really sucks for what we're going after because it doesn't have ability one, has negative ability one, which our old one did as well. But regardless, um, this one sucks because it has both negative ability one and ability two, and this one sucks because it doesn't have ability one and it doesn't have hero damage. Ugh. Also, we got an ultimate upgrade of Jinlin, which I didn't think would happen, but here we are. Uh, also, I picked up some of these armors because um, there's a chance in the future that we might stop doing Divine Crystal stuff. 
and just go straight for um, farming AFK in these maps. But if we are going to do that, um, it will probably not be here. Actually, rephrase, it will definitely not be here that we farm for armor, um, at least me personally, because um, Divine Crystals would be faster and uh, mainly, uh, even though there would be more effort, I would be able to get exactly a plate piece of armor or whatever, right? So I, I could still keep my armor matching. Whereas here, um, you can get like pristine, you can get whatever. Uh, anyways, let's bring in the extra characters. So I'm gonna bring in an initiate. Uh, this initiate is probably gonna die. <laughs> They're not gonna survive. Um, I'm gonna bring in an initiate and I think after that two? Yeah, an initiate and um, another monk. And then after that, probably uh, this guy right here. Because uh, one thing, and that is, I want to be able to repair the wall right here. Look at the bottom right screen. I want to be able to re repair this wall whenever I need to. Um, because if that one goes down, while it's not the end of the world, um, it could be if it's really early on. And I'd rather not have that happen. Um, if you have the stats for this, or if you have, like, you know, any tower boosting pet, which I actually do have, but I don't really have characters that I can go on to for it. Um, like, uh, where is it? Like this guy, or this guy, or this guy, right? If you have one of those, then um, you can go on the on any of these characters leveled up and equip that, and it'll help your towers out, but I can't really do that. Um, when you guys are doing this, you might run into a thing of... What character? Uh, you run out of mana in the middle of a round just because of, I don't know, luck, getting unlucky specifically. Um, if you run out of mana uh, and you you lose your, your tower boost for a second, don't worry. Just put down your hero boost and your aura of fire and more likely than not... Oh, that's a fun car outside. More likely than not, um, it won't be any kind of an issue. Um, it'll be like momentarily a bit scary, but... Unless things are already going real, real bad, uh, you'll be fine. I'm um, just gotta, what's the name? There we go. And now we get uh, oh, three genius scimitars, one non genius scimitar. Oh, and also we, we get the regular map rewards. I forgot about that. Hopefully, good genius scimitars. Um, I doubt any of these pets are worth looking at. Uh, the donkey. Oh. The donkeys, um, I'll keep them for completion, but they serve no purpose otherwise. Let's see, is this one the best one? Looks like it, yeah. This is probably the best DPS donkey. Although they're we're not really gonna use them for DPS. All three of them are ultimate. This is really nice. Although one of them is very low uh, on mana cost. I'm gonna save that for last. So I'm gonna quickly put these items into the folder. Anything that's not locked basically goes straight there. Alright. Holy shit, you have negative 500 hero damage. God damn. A negative... Ugh. Less upgrades. Positive damage, so it might end up being better. 357. Alright. I am fully, fully happy with that. I will very much compromise. Low starting damage, which sucks, but what can you do?
And I think I will keep this one as well for a alternate character. Uh, let me check back here. Uh, I'll keep the ultimate upgrade Jrinlet. Uh, these these Jrinlets, they're not really useful. Um, they don't serve any purpose really. Um, yeah, they're not very. They're not. They're not worth keeping. Uh, should I keep another Jin? I probably should. None of these Jins are worth keeping. All right, you know what? Maybe next episode we'll we'll get a better Jin because uh, none of these have ability one, which is the main thing that that I'm gonna be wanting for this other Jin pet. Jin, Jin. Oof. Yeah, I'm very. It is. It is getting very hot. I turn off my AC for like ten minutes. Keep that as Jin pet. Just making sure that we're not missing anything. Uh. Uh, also, these other pets, you might want to keep them if you're not doing, like, you know, every map anyways, like I am. But since I am doing every map, I don't particularly care for them. Oh, wait. Oh, we got a Highland Ripper as well. Uh, garbage. And the Spartan Sword we got is also garbage. What's the unique about it? Has a 5% chance to cause Spartan Raid increased damage by 1.25 by 5 seconds. Not bad. But uh, this weapon is. That's. Oh, well. Okay, I think that's it. Sorry if I'm dragging it out a bit too, uh, a bit too long. There we go, um, and I will actually, uh, I'll go through with it, quickly jump on our summoner and open all of these chests in hopes of a nice little uh, armor. Not that, I think that's godly, not mythical. Uh, I doubt any of these, like, because there's so many characters, it's going to be way more weapons than armors to begin with, and uh, as a result, the vast majority of the, like, Supremes and above that we're going to see are going to be worthless. Because we don't really care about them being weapons, since weapons that are just regular map rewards aren't worth uh, anything, really. Why am I looking at the Transcendence? Uh, that looks about it. Um, I don't think there's... yeah, that's Transcendence as well. Oh well. Uh, let's see how much mana we get from this wave. Um, this is the regular amount of mana you would get every wave, by the way. 1.1 billion. So if you were doing that just for survival, with four characters up, that's how much you would get. Uh, would I do it? No. Because, you know, uh, we can farm coal. But, that's that. No better genie? No. Negative ability one. Why can't we get good genies? That's saddening. Let's, uh, let's quickly upgrade that uh, scimitar, because there's no doubt in my mind that it is better than this one. Which is... Oh, it's so cool. Is it a, is it, wait, does it have rate on it as well? Cast rate? Oh, this is a perfect scimitar. Um, the upgrades do kind of suck on it, because uh, we do want them to be a lot higher, but otherwise, very good scimitar. Let's see, we get, uh, what is that, about 10k in upgrade. We're going to get about 60, 70k, compared to our 57, that's not bad. 70k, there it is. Um, actually, we'll probably keep our old one as well, just in case this one isn't that good in comparison. I really need to sort this. <laughs> I really, really do need to sort this area. I'll do that later, though. Ooh. Let's see. Um, let's compare the old weapon versus new weapon. This is the old weapon that we had. 400,000 a hit um, with bad pet, so we probably changed that. But 400,000 a hit. Is this better? Uh, and the new one does uh, 570,000 a hit. Uh, that's a pretty good increase. Um, once we get all of our armors maxed out, once we get a good pet, um, and we spec into like hero damage, like I can do that right now. If we spec all of our points to hero damage rather than whatever else we had them in before, um, we should do yeah, a lot more damage. So you can imagine with an extra few hundred of other stats going in here, um, probably an extra thousand in that, to be honest. Um, we probably do even more, about 800 maybe. Uh, hit. Anyways. Um, that might be it for this episode. It probably is, because this recording itself was two hours long. Um, I did want to show off Arcane Library uh, this episode, but um, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that uh, purely just due to, like, uh, what's we call it, constraints. Due to uh, time constraints for me. Um, yeah, I really wish there was a better time to have been able to do all this, but, like, every day has been so hot. And I was hoping today would be a little less hot, Oh, I was hoping it'd be a little less hot every day afterwards, but then it was... Anyways, lo long way of saying, um, next episode is going to be 
Uh, I think I'll start out with Arcane Library, show you guys a quick build with that, um, Ruthless Ascension. Um, that's a great place to farm accessories. Uh, those accessories will range, like, you could, you, you won't really get something like this where it's, like, kind of okay, you know. Um, you'll either get complete garbage or very, very, very good accessories. Uh, and it's definitely not 50-50, you usually get garbage, but on the off chance that you do get great accessories, um, you're very happy. Also, this sword is gigantic, holy hell. Do you want a speed boost? Okay. Okay, um, sorry. Uh, I've said it for long enough. Uh, I'm gonna finish this recording. I will see you guys in the next episode. I'm gonna start getting um, into the editing of this episode. Oh, I'm not excited for having to to edit this. This is gonna be like four hours long. <laughs> uh, anyways, see you guys in the next one.